What's up, folks? This is the other G in association with Triple G Productions. It's good to be a geek. It's good to be a creep. It's good to draw my pictures and no one will have a seat. All right, folks. So tonight we're going to be talking about the Microsoft Surface Pro. Uh, the big deal about this, this was the thing that they've been showing over the past few uh, few months on the commercials. So you see all the young, hip professionals, slash acrobats, slash gymnasts, slash Cirque de Soleil performers uh, showing off how cool it is to share clickable keyboards with their tablets, uh, like they're a bunch of STDs, basically. Uh, so Microsoft rolled out a lot of money into this campaign for this item. Uh, it's basically this huge marketing blitz for this one particular machine. All right, so the mechanics of this tab slash PC, it's got a third gen Intel Core TM i5 processor, uh, Intel HD graphics 4000, four gig of RAM. Uh, it has an optional 64 gig or 128 gig memory, memory storage. Uh, display screen is at about 10 and a half inches with a clear type full HD display. Uh, that consists of about 19, 20, 1080 pixels, which is basically a full 16 by 9. It's got a pixel density of about 280 PPI. Uh, it's got this really great, great surface pen too, which has about 1,024 degrees of pressure and what's called palm blocking technology, which is great for artistic creations. All right, so we'll get to the good and the bad of it in a second. First, we're going to talk about what's cool. Anodized titanium Easter egg color shells. They make this thing look like it's the hippest deal in it. Okay. For some reason, also the attachable keyboard um, that makes me want to go break out my erector sets every time I see it and build a build a, some sort of contraption. Um, the marketing campaign for this whole thing kind of reminded me of back when Mac started putting all of their desktops in different shades and colors, making people think they invented it. So the good, due to the i5, um, a cold boot on this thing is completed in about eight seconds flat. I mean, that's a bull ride. That's short. Uh, in terms of full software package, it's got an impressive load time. Uh, audio is a little bit more crisp than that of your standard tablets out there right now. Uh, and Microsoft's chain it has changed to its Windows 8 licensing model, so it appears to clear the path for any other vendor that wants to manufacture a future tablet and install Windows 8 on top of it. So that's handy. All right, the bad. Battery life on this is a bit low hey, compared to other hey. devices. You get about three to five hours right out of the box. That's pretty lame for most endeavors, artistic or social or other. Uh, the attachable keyboard is pretty flimsy. Um, you need to put it on a flat surface for it to do any good. It does bow in the middle. I mean, the thing only runs about yay thick, so not very supportive. And of course, the price. Flipping expensive. Expensive. I mean, we're talking low four figures for the more desirable model. Uh, plus, any repairs of any kind on this are going to run you about half the cost of a new one, and that's if you have the $100 warranty purchased at the start. Between the cost and the lack of battery, it doesn't stack up against some of the more obvious options that are out there right now, like the iPad. But if you're a hardcore PC masochist, then you can consider this your, your uh, cat of nine tails, your leather studded hook, you know, whatever you want. Um, basically, it's an opening door. It's going to allow other things to build on top of it and become bigger, better, stronger, faster, or whatever the song says. Okay? All right, folks, that's it for now. And uh, thank you for your time, as always. Uh, keep, uh, keep a follow on us on Twitter, Facebook all the social media sites. Eric the Catalyst, of course, he's the director, eww, producer, eww. main man. Also the supplier of the fine entertainment right here. Don't do that. And then of course there's me on Twitter. Oh. Um, <clears throat> Spectre yeah. Fan, a zero oh, seven. Yeah. Uh, CLS07, not C-L-A-S-S-07. Mm. <laughs> okay. Alright folks, thanks again. This is the other G. Man, it's good to be a All right, for the ending of the show today, <clears throat> we're gonna talk a little bit about what's grinding my gears. Disney, right now, shutting down LucasArts in all its facets, scaring the hell out of all the fans. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's happening. They're not releasing a whole lot of information about the movies. All they're doing is taking away the canon stuff that we already have. Comic books are being threatened to be shut down. Uh, TV shows have been stopped 
uh, production on video games completely destroyed and erased off the books. It's, it's like the CIA walked in and they're shredding all the documents. Kind of worries me a little bit, folks. So keep your ears to the ground. If anybody hears anything, anybody knows anything, shoot it our way. Uh, but for now, pray. Just pray. Could go away, folks. This could be an endangered species. Think about it.